What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news, some more news concerning Alexander Usyk, Tyson Fury. Get this. Tyson Fury urged to retire after Alexander Usyk fight collapses. <laughs> Tyson Fury has been urged to retire after failing to agree to a deal with Alexander Usyk despite the Ukrainian bowing to his demands. The Gypsy King stated he'd put his WBC heavyweight title on the line against the three belt pound for pound number one. Fury wanted 70% of the pot despite Usyk holding more straps. Usyk and his team tore their hair out over getting the contract signed as the WBA put pressure on a mandatory for Daniel Dubois before the most recent collapse, which came about despite members, which came about despite members of Fury's team stating that the fight was on, Usyk had issued a warning. Tyson Fury deadline. The points for agreement were sent to Fury's side. The deadline is set. The clock is ticking, said Usyk. The ball is in is on greedy belly side now. We did everything in our power to make it happen, he added. Manager Igus Klima stated, we bend enough to make this fight happen. Fury always wanted his way. We allowed it to some point, and now let's see if the Gypsy King is man enough to take the fight. Sorry for us, he's not a king, he's just a gypsy. Even Frank Warren was adamant Fury would sign. However, Klimas told boxer, boxing writer Steve Kim otherwise just got off the phone with Igus Klimas. He said Team Usyk is moving off the Fury fight for an April 29th fight and will now pursue a mandatory obligation, said Kim, stating Klimas told him no matter how much Usyk compromised, he was pushed for more. Kim added that they they hope to have him back in June or July. Hmm. Okay. In addition, Dubois, Dubois looks to be the next opponent um, as stipulated by the WBA as fans are disappointed again. Fury's promise to fight Anthony Joshua in 2022 also failed to material, materialize recently. Okay. And let's see what else they got. Okay. Tyson Fury now has been urged to retire instead of facing another also ran opponent for an easy home victory. And listen, furthermore, Usyk was seen by many as the only challenge left for Fury after his dominant run in the division. And let me counterpunch. People, first of all, this isn't a writer saying that Tyson should retire. These are fans. Okay, more than likely, these are Tyson Fury fans. Keep that in mind. Tyson Fury fans are urging him to retire. And like I said last night on my first rant, because there will be many, okay? There will be many rants because I promised and me, like Alexander, I am Phil Usyk. I keep my damn promises. So I will fry his ass like chicken. So there will be more. Stay tuned. Okay? Stay tuned for the counter punches to the face, to the love handles, to the fat ass belly, to the head, to the nose, to the mouth, to the eyes of Tyson Fury or Luke, whatever. Right? Now, Okay, I agree because for one, Tyson Fury was already retired. He was already retired anyway. So based on what the actions were, okay, people, you can hate me if you want, but let me just tell you a little truth. You look at someone's actions because we know Tyson Fury is a guy that he doesn't back his shit up. This man came out of retirement to do what? He came out of retirement to fight Dillian White and Derek Chisora. That's, that's what he came out of the retirement for. And you got to keep in mind that a guy like Tyson Fury, 
he didn't want to fight. This is the second time he's ducked Usyk. He's talked all of that middleweight, pussy stuff. The two fights that he didn't fight was Anthony Joshua and Alexander Usyk, which honestly, people, I was going to hold this shit back, but I'm not. I'm not anymore. I look at the Wilder Fury fight, that saga. I look at those guys as the second tier of the heavyweight division. I do. I looked at the, the best fighters fought each other already. Usyk fought Joshua. I think Usyk and Joshua were better than Tyson and Wilder. I just think they were. Now, could both of them beat other guys? That's, that, that's a question that remains to be seen. But technically, technically, um, they're better. Anthony Joshua and, and Alexander Usyk are just better fighters. Then I think the best wanted to fight the best. You know, now Wilder, if he wasn't such a fucking obsessor, a creeper over Tyson, trying to get that win from Tyson, he could see Tyson for who he really is. You know, see, I never seen anyone that had that type of hatred for anyone that still wanted to fight him. If that was the case and if he was this, that and the other, you know, you wouldn't want to fight him. You want to fight Joshua, but you didn't want to fight Joshua. So maybe just maybe both of those jugglers are in the same boat. They may speak on a person's name all day, but don't want to fight him at the end of the day. But you know what? This is not Deontay. This is Tyson. Tyson had that damn WBC and he said that he was going to retire because Wilder never said he was going to retire. Okay. And he damn, if he retired, he damn sure wouldn't have a belt still holding on to it like Tyson did. You know, and, you know, one strange thing about Tyson, where the fuck is he? Where the, who, No one's heard nothing from him. As of yesterday, you heard him talk about getting Josh Taylor in and, you know, this is the best training camp and, you know, all this stuff. Why haven't you heard anything? That's the sign right there, people, that Tyson Fury has officially ducked the whole idea of fighting Alexander Usyk. You 100% big gypsy pussy. I never thought that I would be saying this about Tyson Fury, but you know what? I've been thinking it a while. And then I've been thinking it the, for the last couple years. I've been thinking that. I'm thinking, you know what? I don't think Tyson has the balls that he claims he does. If you're going to say one thing behind someone's back and then, you know, you don't, the first time he ever really... Uh, talked about Alexander Usyk to his face was when, you know, um, he beat Derek Chisora, his buddy. You know what I mean? And I always thought to myself, I said, you know what, Tyson Fury, I don't think he's that guy. I think he's just this, like, actor. I think he's an actor. I don't think he's really that dude. You know, I don't think he really is. I think he's a guy that that puts on a show in certain situations, you know, that uses selective outrage, you know, but really what he was really doing is he was selecting his own damn opponents. You know, I think this is what Tyson Fury wanted. They're going to stay quiet for a long time. They're going to stay quiet and look, they would have responded by now. You guys know what time it is in the UK. Shit. It's like five o'clock. It's 5 o'clock in p.m. in the U.K. You would think somebody from that side would have said something by now. So you know what? It's time to retire. Go the fuck back to your cupboard or your bar or whatever the hell, your bar stool, and stay there. Hang out with your dad. You know, keep Tommy out of the bar because he still looks like he's in good shape. He doesn't look like you guys any fucking way. Bald and fat. Okay, he's not that. He looks like his mom. Thank God. Go back to that bar and stay there. Matter of fact, why don't you uh why don't you run a bar? Why don't you make a bar called the Gypsies and fucking sit in there and drink to your steak? Because boxing ain't for you. And one thing I hate more than a, a it, it, than a coward is a bully. Tyson ain't gonna fight no fucking body that you think he can that that he can't beat. That's it. 
Now all those Wilder fights make sense because he knows those are the guys that I know I can beat. Okay, it just seemed a little harder last time. But yeah, he beat Wilder because he knew Wilder was limited. That's why he fought him. But yes, I agree with the fans. Tyson Fury should retire. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.